So we've got the headlights bulbs installed. We've also got the new grill installed. And to all the people hating on my technique of plastic dipping, the emblem is actually looking really good still. It, it has peeled away some. You can see here and here, but it actually is held up very well. So, next step is to replace the lenses. I just got the new lenses in. That, I believe, is the driver's side. So we get to work on that now. All right, so the first step is gonna be uh, taking off these little plastic clips and then the plastic cover will come off. And then uh, we'll go down behind here and pop all the clips for the grill off. And then uh, there's a little plastic uh, filler piece right here that'll come out. It'll come out with the grill. And then we should have access to the headlights after that. So I got the plastic cover off. Um, I took the four clips on either side of it, so a total of eight. Here it is, lying on the floor, just out of the way. So we'll move on to removing the grill. Right, the next step is there's four uh, 10 millimeter bolts up top here. So I'm just gonna take them all out. And after that, there's several of these clips that'll need to come undone. And then lastly, um, there's these bolts right here and they're just on the inside of uh, this filler piece and then it just clips in from there so then we'll take that out and then the whole grill will be removed plus that filler piece and then we'll have good access to the lenses. Alright, so this is the hard part. Oh yeah. Alright, so the rest of this filler is just hold, held on by a bunch of clips. You just pull. You're gonna feel like you're gonna break it. And it's scary, because you feel like you're gonna break it. All right, so that was sketchy as fuck doing it one-handed. So I went and grabbed the tripod, and we're gonna give this a second go. I really missed the days of the old cars where there's two bolts and you're at wherever you need to be at. that popped right out after giving it a good tug and it's it's loose and free. I can grab the camera now and show you. That clip right here is the big culprit. It slides in right here and uh, it, it holds pretty strongly so now that we got that out we can go ahead and do the other side. Uh, another thing to mention is uh, the grill connects via six clips to this insert up front here. I'm not going to undo those. It's not necessary. So we're just going to do the other side and then should be good. Well, so much for keeping the grill on that uh, little insert there. The second I pulled the grill off the front, I had to undo those series of clips on either side. And uh, as soon as I popped those out, um, those started just, they literally fell out of the grill. So they, uh, Took them apart and I'm just gonna let them sit here. So, no big deal. The truck looks ugly as fuck now. Maximum coolage. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna take it to the track now. Oh, fuck yeah. Just gotta remove some weight and get these uh, uh, lenses out, eh? Eh? Hey. We're going to a uh, Minnesota redneck track. That's where we're going. Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, anyhow. Hey, fuck off. We're gonna explain some real shit now. How about you fuck yourself? <laughs> That's later, son. So this bolt right here, I would not be able to access without having the, that cover off, so. That's next. So we're gonna start removing these bolts. Here's, looks like there's two on top. Sir, I think I have to speak out. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to Mind your own fucking business. So anyhow, so the camera can hear me, I'm gonna yell. There's wind. That uh, there's three 10 millimeter bolts that I'm undoing right now. <laughs> I'm hoping that those are the only ones that I have to do. There's two bolts. 
spacer. This is in really excellent shape. Just a little bit of a scuff marks, a little dirty. But they're for sale now, and you watched me take them out, so you know <laughs> I didn't do anything to damage them. So here they are side by side. New one's still got the plastic on it. So we'll get that installed straight away. here is the same thing as we had with the stock lights. The polarity for the clip for the brights, the manufacturer reversed it. It still goes on uh, the connector uh, for this particular lens, but uh, the clip is not going over the little notch that's designed for it. So we're going to have to use electrical tape to secure it just like we had on uh, the stock lenses. So here's the low beams. This is the p part that goes to the actual light and then this is the harness that comes with the lens. And it clips to the side instead of over this n notch right here. And so I can uh, go ahead and reverse this either way I want to. Um, I happen to guess correctly when I put this one on since the lights came on. But if you look at this one, this notch is only on the one side and this clip, the harness that comes with the lens, um, is actually installed backwards compared to how the clip wants to be, which is just dumb. It's a manufacturing error. There's nothing I can do about that except for the redneck fix of using electrical tape. I don't like to do it, but it's what we got to do and there we go there they are side by side I think it looks good so far so we're gonna continue on the other side so here we are this is the finished product with basic hand tools it took about an hour and a half two hours to get this done kind of took it nice and easy so that we didn't break anything I think it looks amazing it's got the black accents uh, bordering the headlights which I think really pulls together really well with the black on the lower bumper and the black on the GMC logo. One thing I really wanted to point out was if you look at it at just the right angle, you can kind of see the yellow from uh, the LED. There's nothing we can do about that, and it's only from a certain angle that you actually see it. For the turn signal lights, uh, what I really want to do is get some switchback LEDs, because right now um, I do not like how it reflects orange, so I would like to more so show off the chrome that these came in. So that's going to be probably my next project. Just got to order them, find some decent ones and order them. Install should be pretty easy. Thank everybody who donated to my truck fund. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to get the new gearing, the headlights, or the grill on this thing. It's been an amazing summer so far, and you guys are just making it better each day. So, can't thank you enough. If you still want to donate, it is open. I'll leave a link in the description. Just uh, every cent counts. Thank you again.